Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. All right, so if you guys haven't already, please uh, please click that thumbs up button. Please subscribe. If you guys have any comments on this video, good or bad, doesn't matter. Please leave a comment in the comment section. But we're talking about the P0035 code. We're going to go through what it is and how you guys can fix this. So essentially, this code is turbocharger, supercharger, bypass, valve, a control circuit high this is essentially the title a definition of the code it indicates a problem with the turbocharger bypass valve circuit in your vehicle um, essentially what it means is that the cars your car's computer the pcm ecm um, has detected a high or shorted circuit for the bypass valve this can lead to issues with the turbocharger system and essentially impact the way your engine performs but let's just do a little breakdown on this and and uh, get a little bit deeper into this to simplify what is the bypass valve in turbocharged or turbocharged vehicles the bypass valve also known as the waste gate essentially helps regulate boost pressure by diverting excess exhaust gas or intake air away from the turbine um essentially um Control circuit high, um, this uh, essentially means that the electrical circuit controlling the bypass valve is experiencing a high voltage or a short um, short two voltage is pre potentially preventing the valve from opening or closing the way it's supposed to. So if you guys have this, what you guys are going to do is you guys are going to have to maybe look at the faulty turbocharger bypass valve you might have to replace that um, if it's easy to get to not too difficult not expensive you guys probably should change that out it might be the central cause of your issue you might have damage or corroded wiring in a bypass valve circuit um, that's that could be the case if you guys had one or two of these instances um, maybe some um, some little rat or animal. If you guys live in an area where there's rat and animals crawling into your vehicles, they might chew, be chewing on your lines. That could actually cause that. Or if somebody was working on your car recently and they essentially had to disconnect the harness and forgot to plug it in or maybe didn't snap it in correctly all the way, um, that could cause that issue. But chances are you probably want to just look at the bypass valve. You guys also want to look at the boost pressure sensor or solenoid um, if that's um, going bad you might get a separate code for it but you might not but if that's an easy thing to change out in your vehicle or cheaper thing or, or it's cheap to change out in your vehicle definitely should look into that could have vacuum leaks in your intake manifold or boost control system if that is the case you probably have other codes with misfiring issues with this code um, you could have a problem with the PCM or ECM itself. Um, that's not really um, uh, this. It, it's it's not something that is um, generally the case in this in these kind of issues, but it's possible. And um, but it's probably uh, a rare instance that that would actually be the case. And you wouldn't know if it's either ECM or PCM that has the issue. If you had like 15 other codes with this, that's random. That's not uh, associated with this. But as far as symptoms are concerned, you probably will have a check engine light. Chances are if you have a check engine light, um, you probably found out what this code is with the check engine light. Um, you might get some noises from the bypass valve area. You, if, you know, uh, poor engine performance, including reduced power and sluggish acceleration. And in some cases, your vehicle might enter limp home mode to protect the engine. So if you guys are, are in this situation with this code, you guys definitely want to check those things out. If you have fixed your vehicle, um, you know, uh, whatever your experience is with this code, definitely like leave a comment in the comment section. Um, let us know what you guys did uh, to fix it or whatever your problem is. If you guys have any other questions on this, definitely leave a comment. It might help somebody else out. Somebody else um, might be able to answer your questions 
that you might have. In any case, hope you guys like this video. Hope it actually fixes your problem. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. All that good stuff. Appreciate your time, guys. Take care.